Look, I don't want to do a press conference for the new season, mate. It's a waste of my time. The rest of the league is crap. What am I going to say? Should be a good fight for second? Oh, look, come on, mate. Come on, I just want to send my assistant in. Why can't I do that? Get my agent on the phone. Hey guys, I'm Ozzy Villain and welcome back to Grindavik on the Impossible Dream for the start of Season 15. We start our campaign today in the league against uh, IA and Leichner. As we do every year, we'll play one team in one game, switch up 11, and then play them in the second game. So we can have a look at everybody in the squad. Uh, and as we always do at the start of a season, let's have a quick look at where we stand. We are predicted to win the league. Obviously, we've won it every year for the last, what's that, 12, 13 years or something at this point. We are still the only pro club. I really thought Vela would turn professional this season. They didn't. So it's still just us. We're a three-star uh, reputation team. Determined personality. I am the manager. Giacchini is our captain. Plamonos is our vice captain. Sima is our key player. And Gonzalez, uh, one of the defenders we signed uh, last season. I think he was uh, he couldn't play. He was ineligible for a while. Of course, he would have been playing for three clubs. He is our hot prospect. Um, now, if we go and have a quick look here at uh, at profile, we can see the real reason that I sold uh, Kruzliak. He was favoured personnel. Score 70 goals in a season. That is the minimum before you are fondly remembered here. I couldn't have him joining me as the only legend at the club. Uh, if you see here, I am the only legend at the club. So I uh, couldn't have that. So we had, to, we had to get rid of him. But yeah, finally, somebody in this fantastic, legendary Grindavik side is going to be remembered as fondly as Paul McShane. Not even as fondly as Paul McShane. That is ridiculous, isn't it? Uh, let's have a quick look at, uh, at uh, the other things around the club. So uh, squad dynamics... For the most part, it's happy. I did try to sell Puwal, so he's unhappy at that, but he'll get over it. Uh, and Zaharev, we are trying to perhaps sell as well. Uh, he's unhappy to have been left out from the Pepsi League squad. We just need to make sure he knows that uh, we want to sell him because we want to try and keep uh, Grubasic. And if we, we don't keep Grubasic, then he'll come back in, basically. Uh, hierarchy, we can see here... Um, Still a little bit more support than uh, than I have had. Boutenson, Jonsson, and Giacchini are our leaders. Um, so yeah, ideally, the team leaders would support me a little bit more. The reason they don't, I think, is because when players... I've kind of figured it out, I think. When players come to me asking to leave, uh, and I say no, and that we, you know, you get the meetings with the, with the, with the squad, and uh, they're always unhappy that I'm not letting players leave. So that's perhaps why I don't have as much support as ideally I would. And the social groups, we can see them there. Um... The squad has been a little bit more stable of recent seasons, so ideally it would be nice for this to start and come together a little bit more. We might do a little bit more team bonding and stuff like that and see if we can get it to... Uh... Yeah, ten get it to come together a little bit more. Uh, so that is uh, that is that. Let's have a look at the season preview, and we are still the heaviest of heavy favourites. Uh, Valor at two fifty to one is surely the value bet to get them in for second. But uh, yeah, you can see there, there's no one even close to us. It's getting we're getting further and further away. Uh, in terms of the uh, team of the season, it is all Grindavik players as it has been for a few seasons now. And I um, mean, a few of these guys, Grubasic and White, are only on loan, so they will, in all, will White definitely, in all likelihood, Grubasic will leave as well. Um, and Brennett up there in the the attacking midfielder role is just on loan as well. But uh, it doesn't really matter because they will all, um, yeah, they'll, they'll all. Doesn't matter who we play, does it? That will be the best team in this league by a mile. The key players, uh, Seema and Boutenson, are our two that are up there as the top players in the league. If we go down now, just to, we'll go down, then I'll sort of show you some of these top players. Um, you'll know uh, this guy here was uh, was was one of our guys that we let go. Uh, we might remember Hadatson played for the Wags, uh, the Gags, I should say, for uh, for quite a few uh, quite a few seasons. There's one or two other names here that sound kind of familiar, but. They're Icelandic names. They all sound a little bit familiar, don't they? But uh, just to give you an idea of some of the other players in the league, the top players in the league, I mean, it's 1,500 a week. This guy's on at FH. I mean, he's not he's not terrible, is he? I mean, I wouldn't sign him, but if we were to have him come through our youth intake, I would keep him. So, you know, that's good that there's, there's a little, little bit of quality there anyway. Um, very limited quality. But, yeah, five caps for this guy. Uh, you know, for the national team. So there is a little bit starting to come through, but I mean, it's a little, a little too little too late at this point, isn't it? To, in terms of uh, being able to help us in Europe for the series, because um, FM 24 is just around the corner. But anyway, that's that. Let's go have a look at what we're doing here. We start with IA 
And this is what we are doing. We are expecting a few debutants from them, but a 4-3-3. And the team we're sending out to start is as follows. Puol in goal. It is Giacchini, Plemonos, Gonzalez, and Luna as the back four. Jonsson, Rayul, and Valenzuela in midfield. Kosh, Sima, and the new man, D'Ambrosio, is going to go up front as a deep-lying forward. We're going to all see together exactly how he works out. I really think this guy's brilliant. Either foot... Yeah, I mean, I tried to do the big sell last episode. I, I think he's going to be class. So let's see if, uh, if I'm right. And that is not going to be the team because we have too many foreign players. So that being the case, let's bring Unison in for Gonzalez. And we might need to just put Mortensen on the bench so we don't have to make double subs if we get an injury. Um, there we go. That works. All right, so we can see the team sheets there. I don't recognize any names instantly on that team sheet of theirs. Uh, what are we going to say to this? We're the favourites for a reason. Just uh, just go out there, relax, play your natural game. Let's go with that. And uh, hopefully, this is a game we should win quite comfortably, isn't it? So let's get out there. And yeah, hopefully get off to a winning start. I mean, as I said, interesting to see how D'Ambrosio goes. I'm thinking he'll do well. Uh, well, he'll do well here, but just at the club in general in Europe. Now, while we're waiting for this to get underway, I do just want to say it's always an awkward thing for me to go over. Um, there is links to the Patreon and the channel memberships it just sort of down below in the description of the video and whatnot. Uh, if you do enjoy my content and you're able to, um, then obviously it would be greatly uh, appreciated. It's one of those things where like, I don't want to put pressure on people because there's no pressure to do it, but equally, um, you know, this is kind of my gig. Uh, well, so I look after the kids and... Um, yeah, you know, it's, it's, yeah, it's there anyway. And there's little thank you perks as well. So, um, yeah, I, I try not to bring it up all the time. Cause like I say, I don't want to pressure people into it, but, um, yeah, it hasn't been mentioned in a while. So if, uh, if you want to fantastic, if not just watch the ads for me, that is, uh, that is brilliant, but let's see what we can do now. It'll be interesting to see D'Ambrosio here with, because they've got a DM in, we may not, it may not be the best game for him to play as a deep lying forward. Uh, when we sort of used it in pre-season, that League Cup thing, and there's a ball for Jambrosio in, and decent save from the goalkeeper. Uh, if there was space for him to drop into, he was doing it really well. He was dropping into space, and Rayul especially was running beyond him, and it, it was working a charm. So, yeah, whether with a DM, it's not going to quite... You can see there he doesn't quite have the space. Good overlapping run for Giacchini, and there it is. D'Ambrosio, his second of the season, having got one in... Uh, I think on the boot in that uh, League Cup thing. And yeah, I mean, that is potentially what he could offer us. Seema back to Valenzuela. The ball to find the run. It was a good run, wasn't it, from Giacchini as well. That is just a very nice goal. So six minutes in and we have one. Which is which is nice, obviously. You'll notice it's a very, for the most part, young bench um, that is anticipating wins and and being ahead and therefore being able to make some subs and give some young players some game time um yeah again it's it's just trying to balance the squad and give make sure that players are getting games to develop uh without taking game time away from players who expect to play it's always the the really difficult thing i find in this sort of impossible dream style thing where um we're playing in a smaller league is you can't tell your, your European like Champions League quality star players, you, you're you're beyond you're above this. <laughs> like we don't want to risk you in these against these uh, semi-pro morons um, because they just expect to play. They expect to be a first team regular in league games, not just in uh, in Europe. Now whether in real it's at that it's probably how it would work as well. D'Ambrosio has himself a second, and he had. He had so much time there. It was really a little bit silly, wasn't it? And with Anderson, is that... We had an Anderson at one point. It has been given. I don't really... Do we have VAR? Wait a minute. <laughs> was it, I was daydreaming there. Was that a VAR chat? Oh, I'll see that netherding, obviously. But was that a VAR... Anyway. I wonder if we've uh, progressed far enough up the pyramid that we... Or like the, the, the league table now, the uh, or reputation, league reputation table that we have... Um, that we have VAR this season. That'd be nice. Uh, the, the European season hasn't actually ended yet, so we haven't had our update of uh, of European rankings and things like that. Once once we do, I will obviously let you know. Uh, in terms of the coefficient points, we roughly, I think we just, we maybe gone, oh, it's too easy. It's too easy. Rayul to D'Ambrosio. And uh, that is that. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, we, I think we were defending 19 points, and I think we, we did do a little bit better than that. So we are going to, we have 
increased overall our coefficient points in the next two seasons I think we're only defending like seven and six points or something it was when we were dropping out we weren't going uh, sort of into the knockout rounds of the Champions League so we could really find ourselves flying up the the European rankings in the next two years uh, here we go with Seema to Kosh oh that's really really nice is it onside um, that one has been disallowed and there is no VAR it looks like so Maybe this is what I saw. Did I see a replay last time? I, I tell you what, that's harsh. Though he did look offside from the from the through ball more so than that one that they uh, that they froze frame there, or frame froze, whatever that freeze framed. How would you say that? F freeze framed or frame froze? <laughs> There's a question. I don't know what which is the uh, which is the correct way to say that. Freeze framed or frame froze? Anyway, we've got another goal. Kosh has got uh, his second, our fourth. And, uh, yeah, that's all <laughs> very nice. It's his second of the season, not his second of the game, I should uh, clarify. But anyway, Rayor, good run forward, checks back, and uh, just picks out the man at the back post, standing there by himself, really. So, uh, yeah, all a little bit too easy, as we've come to expect. And uh, there we go. Whenever we play IA, just to, uh, you know, sort of an insight into my brain, which can be dangerous and worrying for some people i always just think that the name should be intelligence artificial that's in, that's just what i sort of call them um you know in my in my own in my own world that i live in but uh yeah it's just a strange abbreviation um so we will make some changes at half time oh other thing i have to tell you is uh goal of the season uh next episode i will catch you up on that i have uh you haven't voted yet, basically. As I'm recording this, you haven't voted on goal of the season yet. So by the time uh, next episode on Monday comes around, is that a penalty? Is that a penalty? It looked like it was a bit of a hack anyway. Rayul's there. Rayul scores off the goalkeeper's chest. It is 5-0. And uh, yeah, it's it's every bit as easy as I think we were expecting. I'm not convinced that wasn't a penalty. D'Ambrosio certainly... Uh, well, he asked the question, didn't he? But... Yeah, I think actually it looked like Orison there got a touch on the pass, and if he hadn't, I don't think the pass was actually going to anybody. So we've got maybe a little bit of luck there. But anyway, we are 5 0 up. They've not really been anywhere near us, and uh, we will make some subs here, I think. Do we go with Rafferson up front nice and early in the season, try and get him his goal? I think we can agree that D'Ambrosio looks quite good. So we'll make that change. Uh, Jonsson is one of the youngsters that's coming through and showing a little bit of promise. So let's get him on for Valenzuela. And Junior is a youngster as well. So let's get him on for Kosh. And we'll maybe leave it at that for now. I think we maybe have one more sub we can make. But we'll wait. Uh, yeah, we'll wait for that to be made a little bit later on. So we'll give them some praise. And... Here we go, Junior from the corner. It's a header. It's just over. Missed who it was. Uh, it looks like Rafferson's confused to be playing up front, and justifiably so as Johansson gets his first goal for the club. Very, very nicely done. Another gag coming through the system, and uh, he's not one that's going to make it with us. He's not sort of at the same level as, uh, say, Arneson, who we uh, had to sell this time last year, or. Fredrickson, yeah, I don't think he's going to be international. Uh, I guess that's what I'm saying, but he's a very useful player and is someone that he will he will have a career. So uh, yeah, that is six nil. Let's get Bod Vartsen on now, and if we have another sub, we'll get Mortensen on. How many subs can we make? I really shouldn't be able to keep. I'll just keep making subs till they won't let me do it anymore. There's a ball in from Junior, header from Arneson, and it is over the top. And uh, here we go again. Bodvartsen with the throw. Bodvartsen with the cross. It's ooh, a little, nice little backward header thing there from Seema. But uh, couldn't find the back of the net. Are we going to be able to get Rafferson his goal? It, time is ticking by here. We'll keep praising them. We're into stoppage time. And it looks like it's just going to be the six to start the season. Uh, hat trick from D'Ambrosio in the first half. A real masterclass in midfield. And uh, yeah, that's how you do that. So there we go, we start the season top of the table, which is where you'd expect us to be. And six of the best for Grindavik. Raul looked classy. Yeah, D'Ambrosio looked good up front. All round, a very, very good performance, that one. All right, guys, wait right there. We'll be back. We'll switch up the 11 and we'll face Leichner.
All right, welcome back. We're getting ready to face uh, like now, and we've had our youth intake preview and average compared to recently. That is uh, that's absolutely brilliant. So there's a uh, one maybe decent goalkeeper, and that's it. So if it's an average intake and there's one decent player, it must be hell of a goalkeeper. Um, but yeah, so there we go. That is the youth intake preview. Now we have had a little bit of an injury blow as well. Because our new right back, uh, Jose Angel Jimenez, is out for uh, five to six weeks with a torn groin muscle. He is the young right back that we signed from Roma. Uh, yeah, he was training on well. He was looking like he could be a big part of what we do. And uh, he's going to miss the next month or so. So, yeah, not ideal. But anyway, let's go and have a look here and see what we're doing against Like Now, we're expecting a, uh, what's that, a, a, a bus park, I guess, with two up front from them. And this is the team we're sending out. Rafferson goes in, uh, in goal. It is Weir, Maya, Gonzalez. Maya shouldn't be a ball player, though. Uh, Gonzalez and Bod Vartsen will come in to play right back. Pavas, and then we've got Maya and Rick Hartson, two young Icelandic uh, midfielders. So we're going to see what uh, what they can do getting a start in the league. Milosevic, Bautinsen is an inside forward. Let's try him out there, see if it works. And then we've got Skojan, the uh, the man that we bought in, or the reason that we sold even, I should say, uh, Kuzliak, because he was out on loan in Spain for the last two seasons. Let's see exactly what he can do. All right, so we can see the team sheets here again. I don't recognize any names there uh, that jump out at me. Uh, all right, this is a home game. We'll point our finger. It's important we make full use of home advantage. Pavas is looking aggressive, which he usually does. And uh, yeah, let's see how many we can score here. Now, of course, we've got to be a little bit careful here because this time last year, we played newly promoted Phil Keir. I think it was at home as well. And uh, we drew, didn't we? And we were lucky to get a point in the end. And I'm pretty sure Leitner actually drew with us um, in uh, in last season as well. I think we dropped points to them. So they're a dangerous-ish side, but that shouldn't make a difference, should it? It really, it really, at this point, doesn't matter who we play. We should be winning and winning well. We'll uh, just skip to the game itself. Uh, all right, now they've we've got to change marking assignments here. Uh, so let's just get rid of it because we should have more than enough about us to not worry about man marking their wing back. Something's happened there. They've got goalkeepers, got the ball, and we will get on with life. So early doors, they've uh, had more possession, although we've switched that around just now. And um, yeah, not looking great. Let's get rid of that. Go back to this. I keep forgetting to change that. That's still there from Roma. <laughs> We played Roma in the uh, Champions League as Sam Meyer gets what I think is his first for the club. It is his first for the club, so well done to him. And uh, yeah, we are underway at home this season. Milosevic, nice ball in, Meyer at the near post. And uh, yeah, all a little bit simple in the end, wasn't it? So if you had uh, Sam Meyer as first goal scorer on your coupon this week, well done. Maya gets it, and Maya, that's a bit of confused me, isn't it? We are in there, and it's over the top from Bautinson, I think it was. Now, Bautinson will still be learning the position to play, you know, as an inside forward out there. Um, there's no reason, actually, why he couldn't do it. He's a good dribbler, a good finisher. There's there's no reason at all that he wouldn't make a very, very good inside forward, just like Seema does. Um, there is an argument to say we could use Seema as an inside forward. I'm just, just getting this brainwave now. And we do, we've got two good right wingers in Kosh and Milosevic, so um, there's no real need to, to do this necessarily. But there's no reason why we couldn't play Seema as an inside forward. Of course, Seema's two footed. Why he couldn't play as an inside forward on the right, Bouton's as an inside forward on the left, and then. Um, have uh, what's his face, D'Ambrosio as a as a deep lying forward with those guys sort of coming in and playing off of him as Maya has a go and can't quite get it done. But yeah, I mean that's something that we could maybe experiment with at some point, uh, and then Scotian on the bench if we wanted to to change things up a little bit. But half an hour gone here, and we were only 1-0 up, so that's not ideal. Here we go with Bautinson through for Maya. Maya, can he find the back of the net? Yes he can, Mickey Maya. Excellent work. It's 2-0. And it's his first ever senior goal, which I think means league goal, doesn't it? Because he's got goals in the Cups, obviously, because he's uh, been a part of the Gags for a little while now. He played a lot of games in pre-season as well, that League Cup. And uh, it's probably disrespectful to call it the pre-season Cup, but that's kind of, I think, especially given that we're usually now still in Europe at the time as well, uh, I definitely look at it as a pre-season Cup in a way to get players that uh, that aren't in, playing in our European games, get them sort of match fit for the season. So uh, there's a ball to the back post, Milosevic, towering header, and that will be that. It is 3-0. 
and we just need to get Skojin to go now so I don't look quite as silly as I could do having <laughs> Kruzliak in his 70 goals but uh, yeah I don't know if he's playing his part maybe that's what it is there everyone's scared of him and the others are just being left uh, left unmarked to score the goals but yeah we're dominating the game now they did start well didn't they the first five or so minutes they had uh, at least half the possession Maya keeps the ball in there Gonzalez now across for Maya wide for Weir Weir for Boutenson to Rick Artson. to Boutenson again Boutenson's in here can he find oh he's gone down it's a silly tackle it's the sort of tackle that a defender makes when they're outclassed, isn't it? All right, here we go with Skojan. Can he get himself a goal? He does. Sends the goalkeeper the wrong way. And it is 4-0 coming into half time in first half stoppage time. So there we go. Skojan did get a few goals in that, uh, again, that, that pre-season League Cup thing. Um, but it's good to see him getting goals that semi matter. It's all about whether he can do it in Europe, isn't it? That's that's where he'll, uh, he'll make his reputation and make me look like an idiot or uh, or a genius all right what do we want to say to this um just don't get complacent just keep racking up the goals if you can please boys and do we want to bring anybody off the bench at this point i'm less inclined to do it in this game because the guys that are playing particularly in midfield are sort of younger guys anyway um we could take milosevic off for junior that's fine Maybe Pavas for Ricard, uh, Pavas for uh, Fridrikson. Um, yeah, we'll uh, we'll see. We'll see. We'll we've only just started here. As long as you're on by the seventy fifth minute, they'll get uh, sort of development benefit from it. Here we go with Weir. We should have them outnumbered out there. There's a decent ball in. Rickardson keeps it in, though. Another ball in. It's relenting pressure and uh, unrelenting pressure, I should say. And it is Skojan with his second to make it 5-0 in the 50th minute. And, yeah, the two kids in midfield are doing okay here, aren't they? I mean, this is... They, they would be, I'd say, probably good midfielders. They were both part of the give money to the league thing that we did a few seasons ago now. Uh, most of the players from that we we did sell on. Uh, I think the only three that are left is Bodvartsen, who's playing right back in this one, and then the two central midfielders. I'm pretty sure everybody else we did uh, in the end sell on. So let's get Fredrickson on. He didn't come on in the last game, so that gets him a little bit of match up. I thought that went in then, but it's gone past the post. Uh, what are we at? An, the hour mark. Let's uh, okay. Let actually no. I was going to bring put Pavas back to centre back. See how he got on there, but. Uh, we won't bother with that now. Bodvartsen, no, because we've got Luna on the bench, so he can stay on. Here we go, Maya to Skojan on a hat-trick now. Maya again for Skojan, he's got all the time in the world. Turns, places his shot, but he's ninth of the season, and it's not going to count. And, oh, no, I'm not having that. That guy's back foot. Uh, that's, that's wrong. That was a wrong decision. Not that it matters, we're not going to lose our temper over it or anything. Um, but it, it just wasn't offside, was it? Milosevic can come off for Junior. That's a good header and a little bit unlucky not to find the back of the net. And uh, the defender who gave away the penalty on Boutenson has uh, done quite well there defending that. All right, do we want to take booking? I mean, bookings don't matter, do they? We're not going to lose from here anyway, and suspensions aren't going to ruin our season, so... I think we just figure out here if we can trust players or not, don't we? Weir gets the ball forward. Boutenson loses out. Rickardson comes across. And uh, doesn't quite know what to do with the ball there, does he? Now, do we... Uh... No, I don't think I want to make subs in midfield. I want to give the guy... Oh, that's a cracking ball from Bodvartsen for Skosian. And it is saved by the goalkeeper. I think I'd rather give these guys the game, to be honest. Uh, Maya particularly is looking good, isn't he? Playing a 7.9. Rickardson's done his part in there. There's a ball in. Oh, and that should have been a goal. Who was that? Someone on a booking, I think. And they deserve a second yellow card for missing that chance, if I'm honest. Here we go with Junior. Ball in. Decent. Gonzalez off the crossbar, and it is just hacked behind. And it's another offside. I tell you what, some of these offside decisions are a little, a little much, aren't they? I mean, how is anybody offside from that? But uh, clock is ticking down. It's looking like it is going to be just uh, just the five. Oh, wait, or is it? 
We're in the, the first of two minutes of stoppage time. Can Skosian get a hat trick? Not like that, he can't. And crossfield ball. Fredrickson knocks it down for Junior. Junior to Bod Vartsen. Back out there for Junior. Skosian through the middle. He's lurking. Mayer back, and we ping it around. Rickardson has a go. Not really what was needed there, was it? But it doesn't. It, why wouldn't you have a go, I suppose? Here we go with Weir, Rickardson again. We're keeping possession well. And this team is more of a team. You know, we it's not like it's a ridiculous... I mean, it is a little bit, I suppose, with Skosian and the two centre-backs of all cost uh, big money. But uh, there's a football in, and Skosian buries the header, and he gets his hat-trick in stoppage time. It is 6-0, and uh, that is now his 10th of the season, which is crucially act-type numbers, isn't it? 10 in the first uh, first league game of the season, not bad. Good header, that is unstoppable, isn't it? Really good header, good ball in from Weir as well, who's looking at capable backup for, uh, for Giacchini. But there we go, another six. Some more uh, first-time goal scorers in there, and the two kids in midfield, really happy with how they did as well. Guys came off the bench and looked good. Uh, a lot to like about that. So two games, 12 goals, six points. Decent start to the season, that one. So Skosian sends us top. Uh, and with that, we can just about put the league to one side for the year, I think. We've seen everybody. Let me know what you thought. Um, let me know what you think of the idea of D'Ambrosio as a striker. And inside forward, Seema on the right, bouncing on the left. So they're coming in on their opposite foot. Yeah, the, the problem with that, of course, is uh, Kosh and, and Milosevic, who play on the right for us as wingers. But there might be there might be something to that potentially, and Skosian would be a decent. I mean, Skosian plays a deep lying forward as well, really passing fifteen, vision twelve. It's not like he's uh, he's terrible at it. So we've got options though, we've got options, and that is a good thing, isn't it? But if you've enjoyed that, thumbs up, subscribe if you're new. We'll be back next time. We've got uh, KFG Kentucky Fried Goose in the cup. Uh, we'll put the gags out for that, obviously, and uh, we'll play the next round of cup, assuming we get through as we should. And if we don't, Valor away. It's the second biggest stadium in the country. It won't be a bad game to come back for either. So until then, guys, I've been on TV. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.